devam ediyorum. But I will not go and live there, Miss Barkley told herself, towards the end of that summer. I am determined to remain independent. My plans are clear. clear. I have my work, and besides, it would never do. We might not get on well together, and then it would be embarrassing for me to have to leave, and people might talk. Dolayısıyla karakter olarak dikkat ederseniz bir independent diyebileceğimiz bağımsız bir e, free karakter diye düşünebilirsiniz Bayan Barkley'de. Diğer taraftan bütün planları kafasında oldu, oluşturduğu, olgunlaştırdığı her türlü düşünceler son derece açık ve akıcı bir şekilde e, ifade buluyor. Though she knew that they would not And that it was of her own judgment that she was most afraid. For Mount C was full of ladies of indeterminate age. Bu da önemli bizim için. Ki kelimeleri daha önce de hep söyledim. Muhakkak ama muhakkak glossary'de bakmak zorundasın. Çok güzel kelimeler geçiyor çocuklar buralarda da. Inter indeterminate age, sharing houses together. The winter came and the cottage was indeed damp. The stone walls struck cold all day and all night, in spite of expensive electric heaters. And Miss Bartlett spent longer and longer afternoons at Tuscany, even taking some of her work up there from time to time. At the beginning of December, the first of the bad storms sent waves ne güzel ifade gene bakın. Sent waves crashing up over the quay side into the front room. Ev artık iyice denizin kenarında doğal olarak o büyük dalgalar ne yapıyor? Ee, atlamalar yaparak diyelim evinin önüne kadar geliyor. Of course Miss Ross Common is lonely she said now. She has need of me. I should have realized. That type of woman who appears to be so competent and strong. Gene bakın ifadeler çok güzel. So competent and strong. Bayan Bartley için verilen ifadeler. Feels the onset of old age and infirmity more than most. Bir başlangıcı olarak görülüyor bakın. Feels the onset of old age and infirmity more than most. But she cannot say so. Cannot give way and confess to human weakness. She bakes me cakes and worries about the dampness in my house because she needs my company and concern for herself. And so on Christmas Eve, when the second storm filled Miss Bartley's living room, bakın dikkat edin, evin içine kadar giriyor artık dalgalar, With water up to the level of the wind of sea, she allowed herself to be evacuated by the capable Miss Ross coming up to the white bungalow. Sonunda da artık mecbur kalıyor Bayan Bartley ayrılmak zorunda evinden. It will not be for good, she said anxiously. When the weather improves, I shall have to go back. There is the business to be thought of. We shall make plans for a proper shop, said Miss Roscommon firmly. I have a little money. She filled up a pottery bowl with leek soup, having acquired her faith in its restorative powers when she had set up a canteen at the scene of mining disaster in the 1920s. Miss Bartley accepted the soup and a chair close to the fire and an electric blanket for her bed, thereby setting the seal on the future pattern of their relationship. Buradaki seal normalde mühür olarak geçer biliyorsunuz. Damga olarak geçer biliyorsunuz. Buradaki mecazi anlamda kullanması da artık a good relationship started between them anlamında, oluşmak anlamında düşünün, form anlamında düşünün. By the beginning of February, Plans for the shop were made. By mid-March, the work was in hand. Artık işler yoluna giriyor dikkat ederseniz ve dükkan açılıyor. 
There was no longer any talk of her moving. She would sell her goods from the new shop during the summer days. But she would live at Tuscan. The garage was fitted with light, heat and two extra windows and made into a studio. This is quite the best arrangement, said Miss Roscommon. Here you'll be properly fed and looked after. I shall see to that. Over the seven years that followed, dikkat edin gene, epey bir zaman geçiyor, seven years just passed, Miss Buckley came to rely upon her for many more things than the comforts of a well-kept home. It was Miss Ross Common who made all the business arrangements for the new shop, who saw the bank manager, the estate agent, and the builder. Miss Ross Common who advised with the orders and the accounts. Bütün işleri götüren eden, sadece arkadaşını mutlu etmeye çalışan bir bayan Ross Common var. Dikkat ederseniz. During the summer seasons, the shop did well. Went well. Bu çok kullanılan bir ifade arkadaşlar. Go well de diyebilirsiniz. Do well de diyebilirsiniz. Yani işlerin çok iyiye gitmesi anlamında. Bu çok kullanılan bir ifade. And after three years, at her friend's suggestion, Miss Bartley started to make pink raffia, angels and potpourri jars for the Christmas pot postal market. She relaxed ceased to feel uneasy and if from time to time she did experience a sudden shock of alarm at seeing herself so well and truly settled, she said, not, where else would I go? But I am needed here, however would she manage without me? It would be cruel to go. All the decisions were left to Miss Ross Common. You are so much better at these things, Miss Bartley said and drifted away to her studio, a small woman with pastel colored flesh. Yine ne güzel bir ifade var bakın. Pastel renginde böyle yani biraz donuk diyebileceğimiz bir et tenine sahip Bayan Bartley. Perhaps it was her 47th birthday that jolted her into a renewed awareness of the situation. She looked into the mirror on that morning and saw middle-aged, middle-aged settled irrevocably over her futures. She was reminded of her dependence upon Miss Roscommon. Burada artık işin ciddiyeti, anlaşılma noktası karşımıza çıkıyor. Bakınız. She was reminded of her dependence upon Miss Roscommon before she was Free, independent character. I said I would not stay here, she thought. I would never have my name written up above a permanent shop. For my plans were to remain glued. And now it is seven years and how many opportunities have I missed? How many roads are closed to me? Yine çok güzel ifadelere bakın. Bilhassa sondaki ikinci ifadeye bakın. How many roads are closed to me? How many doors are closed on my face gibi bir ifade veriyor bakın. Or perhaps it was the visit of Miss Roscommon's niece, Angela, and her husband of seven days, one weekend in early September. I shall do a great deal of baking, Miss Roscommon said, for they will certainly stay to tea. We shall have cheese, scones and preserves, and a layer cake. I didn't realize that you had a niece. Miss Roscommon rose from the table heavily, for she had put on weight. Gene güzel ifade bakın. Bazı buna gain diyorlar. Aman arkadaşlar. Diyebilirsiniz bir noktada yani. Ama esas doğrusu put on weight. Kilo almak anlamında. Over the seven years. There had also been some suspicion about a cataract in her left I. Another reason why Miss Bartley told herself she could not leave her. Şimdi bu noktada da artık bayan Roscommon bakıma ihtiyacı olduğu düşüncesi oluşuyor bayan e, Bartley'de dikkat ederseniz. İlk başlarda ayrılmayı düşünüyor bakın varsanız. She is my youngest brother's child. I haven't seen her since she was a baby. 
Miss Bartley nodded and wandered away from the break breakfast table, not liking to ask why there had been no wedding invitation. Even after seven years, Miss Roscommon kept some of her secrets. There were subjects upon which she simply didn't speak. Demin dediğimiz gibi içe kapanık dedi Bayani Roscommon'a bakın. Doğal olarak e, yeğeniyle ve eşiyle ilgili de herhangi bir şeyi yedi yıl boyunca Bayan Bartley'e anlatmıyor, açıklamıyor. Though Miss Bartley had long ago bared her own soul. Gene güzel bir ifade. Though Miss Bartley had long ago bared her own soul. Yani kendi içine kapanmış, kendi ruhu içerisine hapsolmuş bir ifade veriyor bize. Denise Angela and her new husband brought a slab of wedding cake which was put to grace the center of the table on a porcelain stand. And this said Miss Roscommon triumphantly, this is my friend Miss Mary Bartley, for Miss Bartley had hung behind in the studio for 10 minutes after their arrival out of courtesy, and because it was always something of a strain for her to meet new people. Mary is very shy, very retiring. Bu da çok kullanılan bir ifade arkadaşlar. Retiring. Kendi içer, içinde yaşayan, yani içine kapanık anlamda da diyebilirsiniz. Tabi bu retiring, retroverted da göre birazcık daha esnek bir ifade verebiliyor. Yani kendi içerisinde yaşayan bir insan gibi düşünün retiring'de. Her own mother had always said, she is artistic, you see. She lives in her own world. Bu da çok kullanılan bir ifadedir. Her tone had always been proud and Miss Bartlett had therefore come to see her own failure as a mark of distinction. Her shyness had been cultivated, ready, readily admitted to. Bu da çok güzel bir kelime. Her shyness. Tabi içe kapanık olan insanlar daha ziyade böyle sıkıldan insanlar utançlı insanlardır. Yani bir şeyleri söylemekten utanırlar. The niece and her husband sat together on the sofa, a little flushed and self-conscious in new clothes. Seeing them there, Miss Bartlett realized for the first time that no young people had ever been inside the bungalow since her arrival. Bakın eve gelen gidenler de pek yok 7 yıl boyunca. But it was more than their youthfulness which struck her. Şu strike kelimesi de çok böyle kullanılan bir kelime. Yani değişik anlamları var. İşte yumruk atmaktan tutun da çarpmaya kadar geçiyor ama öbür taraftan birdenbire böyle aklınıza veya ne bileyim kafanıza bir şey takılıyorsa, birdenbire bir izlenim geliyorsa daha doğrusu bu strike fiilini de kullanıyor. There was an air of suppressed. Excitement about them, a glitter they emanated. Pride in the satisfactions of the flesh. Miss Roscommon presided over a leaden tea table, her face still flushed from the oven. 